Here's an incredibly useful technique for physics exams. Let's have a look at this problem. The luminosity of a metal at 100 degrees C is L. What is the luminosity at 500 degrees C in terms of L? Those problems are best tackled using proportionality. Let's have a look. The luminosity is given by Stefan Boltzmann's law, which says that L is equal to the area of the metal multiplied by Stefan Boltzmann's constant. And then we have the temperature raised to the power of four. Now, everything here is actually a constant. So we can say that L over T to the power of four is a constant. Now, because of that, we can say that, well, L1 over T1 to the power of four is equal to L2 over T2 raised to the power of four. I'm just going to remove this one here because we're, we're given that the original luminosity is L. Now, just by saying that L over T to the power of four is a constant, we can directly find the answer. So we can say that L over the original temperature. Now, just be careful because 100 degrees C will need to be converted to Kelvin. As you can see, this is given with capital T, which typically signifies that we're working Kelvin. So this will be 100 plus 273 raised to the power of 4 will be equal to the final luminosity over 500 plus 273 raised to the power of 4. This, of course, means that L2 will be equal to uh, L. Then we're going to have 773 raised to the power of 4. And then this will be divided by 373 raised to the power of Four. And if we put this into a calculator, we're going to find that the final intensity is about 18.4, let's call it 18 times the original intensity. This technique could be applied to virtually any equation that has a constant in it. These exam hacks are really important on the run-up to exams, and if you're revising, you need to have a look at this exam hack on waves, and this video is just over here.